woken up super early by maintenance pounding on everyone's doors really telling them to move their cars because they're redoing the parking lot but I moved my car last night because they've been sending us emails and pieces of paper on our doorstep telling us what dates we would need to park in a different part of the parking lot I already did that so thanks for waking me up but that's okay because I got a little bit of an earlier start to my morning took a nice chill morning now headed to the gym here at about 10 a.m. which honestly is later than I normally go but yesterday I literally didn't go to the gym it's the first time I've skipped like a weekday of going to the gym in three months because I woke up with the worst headache I literally had no motivation and was just not feeling myself which is a day that I really should have gone to the gym but I was like you know I'm really sore too I think I could use a little bit of a break so I took one I did and I'm not gonna feel guilty about it because I'm here and I'm back at it again the next day and you know what guys I just want to let you know it's normal to have off days it's okay to have days where you don't feel 100% and you might just need a little bit of break from life but we're back the next day feeling hype super happy high energy drinking a little pre-workout headed to the gym anyway the other downside of them redoing the parking lot which I am excited about is that for the next couple days there's just gonna be like so much construction sounds going on so hopefully I can still film at my house I made it to the gym feeling good I think I'm gonna hit my second leg day of the week and do a glute focused workout so let's go knock it out so I opened this thing to put my camera in so I'm gonna take my other little camera and and I literally found crackers. Who put these crackers in my car? Oh my goodness, I absolutely obliterated my workout today. Woo! Let's see, 45 minutes into workout. That was a good one. My legs are literally shaking and I'll tell you why. Normally when I'm doing booty day, I'll do like the booty builder machine, which is just a machine that helps you do hip thrusts. Why is my car like literally shaking? Then I will go do deadlifts and whatever else I feel like. Well, all of the squat and deadlift stations or whatever were taken. So then I decided, oh, I'll just do some Bulgarian squats, which if you don't know is where you put your leg up on the bench behind you, grab some weight, do some lunch it they're so good they're so good I need to do them every time but oh my goodness I went to go do my deadlifts and my legs are shaking so I did my deadlifts lighter weight than normal then I was like well I kind of want to do some pulsing squats like really feel it in the booty like some sumo pulsing squats I did one and almost fell over so I was like okay didn't know I would absolutely die from that so then I just went and did some abs and uh, stretched oh my goodness that was intense let's go home and shower that off gym uh did the dishes now i'm gonna shower also there's not that much construction noise right now so that's good this is so random i don't know why i want to tell you guys this but i've never showed you guys this towel like you guys probably see it a lot but see how it says my name on it it's embroidered oh literally inside out my name is embroidered i also have a matching hand towel this is like falling apart but it says sfm which is my initials these were a present i actually don't know the full details of where these came from i have literally had these since i was like four or five or six somewhere in there like very young and like they must be really high quality towels because this is just now starting to like fall apart a little bit but it's still gonna be good for a couple years I don't have a baby blanket well actually I do have a baby blanket it's right here this is my baby blanket but I've never been like a baby blanket kid like obviously my blanket's still intact I've been I guess I could say a baby towel kid and this towel is huge so when I was like a little kid imagine this around me it's so big anyway it's the best towel ever uh, my brother's house have the same type of towels. I wonder if they still have theirs. I should ask them. But I don't know how this has managed to stay with me for so long and not get lost or anything. But all the times that I've moved, this and this have been top priority of making sure they make it to my next place. Okay, this is way too much information. I'm gonna go shower. I just got out of the shower and Alyssa stopped by on her lunch break to tell me about her date and she's getting ready for another date. I'm so excited. It's the second date with him. Ah, and it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> She's just like spilling all the tea to me and getting ready. I'm like, ooh, okay. <laughs> Alyssa just left, but that was really fun. Um, I'm wearing this and I realized that I hate this together. Flowy with flowy, even though it kind of cinches, like it kind of worked, but I'm, I'm gonna change. Okay, I know it's summer, but I mean, these jeans are pretty comfy. I don't know, I'm not even going anywhere. Well, I might go get coffee. Anyway, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go make food. 
update for you vloggy people um i've just been i just filmed like two different videos i came and got coffee um i put on all my summer jewelry so i'm feeling summer vibes and now i need to head home and then we can have a chat what this video is about what you all clicked on for i hope you didn't skip to this moment if you didn't skip i love you all right let's go talk about it I definitely had too much caffeine today. It's been a while since I had so much caffeine that I'm literally shaking and my heart is beating a thousand miles per second, uh, which doesn't help announcing what I'm about to announce. Okay, here we go. So yeah, you read the title correctly. I actually don't know what I tell it, but I have a boyfriend. Cindy McGee is in a relationship. I have a boyfriend. What is going on with my life? How did I get here? What is, I don't know. So we've been dating for a few months now and we've been friends for a while and I never thought this would be someone that I'd even be like interested in, but the more we became friends and it just kind of happens, like, I don't know. And then we decided to go on a first date. Um, it's the same guy from the Valentine's Day date and the same guy I've been going on dates with. Uh, it just kind of, it just kind of worked. And then we both felt like it was time to be serious and he asked me to be his girlfriend and we prayed about it and now we're dating. So I just wanted to say a few things about him and our relationship and not try to ramble. Okay, he is Christian and we go to church together every Sunday and we're in the same like group. So we go to Bible study together on Tuesdays. I never thought I would meet someone who loved Jesus more than me, but this boy does. <laughs> and he always puts God first in his own life and in our relationship and is always motivating me to gain a deeper relationship with God. And he's been Christian his whole life and his family's Christian and he comes from like an amazing family, has a great relationship with his parents really just like my dream guy. Okay, he also has no social media and I do social media for a living and I actually love it. It's literally perfect. It's like the perfect combo because one, y'all can't find him and stalk him and whatever. And two, it is even better that Okay, I don't have to post about us on social media because like he doesn't do social media, you know? Like literally doesn't have an Instagram, doesn't have a TikTok. It's kind of cool, fun and different, but he still pushes me to do social media and pursue it and wants me to do what I love. So we told our families like, I don't even know, a couple weeks ago, which is such a weird concept. Telling your family that you're dating as an adult who lives far away because it's not like, oh, we've been hanging out and they've met him and whatever. And then I just tell them that we're officially dating. Like, no, <laughs> how would they know? And so I just texted my family. I was like, I have a boyfriend. And then I called my mom. She'd heard me talk about him for a while now and told her that we're official. So that was fun. And then his family, I've actually met a few times. So we told them in person and they were like, cool, we love her. So sounds good. <laughs> so that was interesting. I should do a whole video on like meeting his family and stuff. But anyway, but yeah, it's great. Cause I feel like we push each other to be the best versions of ourselves and grow closer with God. Like I said, putting God first in our relationship is like top priority for me. So the fact that that's so consistent in our relationship is literally amazing another thing that's like i don't know i don't know why i feel like i have to say this but i guess i'm just really thankful that i found someone who is willing to date me even though i've been married like i don't know why i felt like i was just like used and like no one would want me and that's why i knew i had to be a christian man for multiple reasons but like the grace and like forgiveness He's like, well, Jesus forgives me every day. Why would I be mad that you were married? Like, oh my gosh, doesn't make me feel bad about it at all. Completely understanding and loving about the whole situation. We also have like the same goals for our future about wanting to have a family one day. We both want to be like younger parents. And of course we're not in any sort of rush and we're on God's timing with everything and just always taking these things to God. So that's cool to be on the same page. And he has a job, so that's cool. That's new for me. <laughs> and I think the best thing is like he treats love Love, like it's an action it's all about like biblical marriage and obviously not married but we're dating and we're I believe dating is for marriage and so does he so you know there's that <laughs> and obviously I wouldn't even be telling you guys and I wouldn't even be in a relationship if it wasn't like going down the path of being a serious relationship anyway but so he always prioritizes like biblical love and treating it like it's an action and willing to put in the effort for a relationship and, like hey it might not always be perfect but we're gonna fight for each other and we're gonna work it out and take it to God because that's what you do and so it's just crazy to be in a relationship like this because I never thought this would happen, especially not this soon. So yeah, I'm really happy and I was just excited to tell you guys, but also really nervous because I feel like this could get a backlash. I don't know. It's just really scary for me, but like I've said before, I'm still going to keep my relationship very private. I might make a video with him in a couple weeks so you guys can see who it is and everything. Just 
see us together and he might be in videos after that like here and there but this isn't gonna be a couple's channel we're not starting a couple's channel i'm not gonna clickbait about my relationship like this is pretty private something i want to keep private in my life and so now you guys know i have a boyfriend so i don't feel like i'm hiding something anymore that's pretty much it and that's it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed and Cool. I don't know how to end this. I feel like this is really awkward. Why is it so awkward to talk about a relationship? Like I'm a whole adult. Anyway, I feel like I have like little butterflies talking about it right now. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.